Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the ATI All in Wonder 9600 XT video card. What is included in this package are a number of input output connectors and these can be used to both input and output video and audio. First of all, this one right here. This end goes plugged into the video card and then you've got a number of connections right here. S video and composite video in and the standard RCA left and right audio channels right here. This one right here, well this end goes plugged into the video card. With this you can do dual display and that means you'll have a lot more space to work on your desktop. You've got a composite video connection, an S video connection, as well as a digital audio connection and this connection right here goes into your sound cards in. Also included is an FM antenna, a bunch of software, manuals, three batteries for the remote control, a receiver for the remote control, and the video card. This video card has a nice size cooler on the core, but the heat sink part of it only extends out to half of the memory, and it doesn't even touch the memory, so you're not going to get any memory cooling from this particular heat sink. This is just for the core, not for the memory. What they should have did is either extend this all the way out and touch the memory so it can assist in cooling the memory down or make this smaller so if someone wants to go out and buy heat sinks for the memory they can very easily do that nor is there heat sinks on the memory on the back. Now if you want to put heat sinks on the memory well you got a couple of choices mod this somehow I wouldn't recommend that I would recommend removing this getting a smaller but effective cooler for the core and then purchasing memory heat sinks for the front and the back. Of course that's only needed if you're thinking about overclocking the memory. Right here is the TV and FM tuner and right here is where the FM antenna gets connected. The cable TV gets connected into here and this connection which I mentioned earlier well this goes connected into here and this one gets connected into here. This video card has a lot of technology built into it for both gaming and multimedia purposes. Now if you're into gaming it supports the latest DirectX, the latest OpenGL, also AGP 8 times, has the Smooth Shader 2 technology. This enables cinematic quality lighting effects, also Smooth Vision 2.1 and that delivers the sharpest, clearest textures that you can get. This remote control has a lot of functionality and as you can see a lot of different buttons. Now some of these buttons can do a number of different things and what I mean by that is one button might do something different whether you're in TV, DVD, video CD, file player, CD audio or Windows. Now I will not be going through all this detail in this video review but rather just generally telling you what these buttons are all about. First I'll start at the top. The top right is power off, help, aspect ratio, drag, and right click mouse button. At the left is the left click mouse button. Above that are four auxiliary programmable buttons. The button there with the ATI logo on it is to open the multimedia center launchpad or library. The button above that, PC, is to send control to the in focus window. And DVD and TV buttons as well as two more programmable buttons, A, B, and four more at the bottom, C, D, E, and F. In the center is the thumb pad. Here we have the increase decrease channel, increase decrease volume, and the mute button. Further down are the numeric keys, adjust video controls, information details, open root menu, media info, and toggle TV on demand button. And at the bottom are the up, down, right, left buttons, and OK in the center. Here we have rewind, record, play, fast forward, pause and finally stop. This video card has many TV features. Right here we have the TV on demand button. You can pause live TV and scrolling through channels is quite easy. 
You can preview all the different channels in your particular area here on one screen. You can also see the TV listings. Now I'm going to show you what that's all about in just a second. Recording or scheduling to record programs is quite easy. You can take stills on the fly and then select them from the stills gallery like so. You've also got a closed captioning button here a parental lock and you can change the input connector from TV to composite to S video and here's the mute button. You can increase or decrease the volume right here and change the name of the show that you're watching right here. Now with this you can actually change the size of the screen and you can have a full desktop. You can also move this around to anywhere you want it. Now one very neat feature with this is called Through View. And if you right click here, you can go down to Through View window and this will actually give you the ability to see through the TV. But you can still do your work very easily. Now you've also got a Through View desktop option where you've got the TV, the whole desktop, and again you can see the TV, but you can still do your work. Guide Plus is a program that will download all the listings in your particular area. First of all, install the program. It will then ask you to enter your particular information. It will then go ahead and download all the listings in your particular area. And once it's done, it looks something like this. You can see it's very convenient. You can see what's on now by clicking through the different channels. It will appear here at the top left. You can also right click on any channel and watch it. We'll go full screen then. You can record or add it to favorites, or you can see details on that particular channel. Also up here, you get a number of different things. Log, stations, you can see the titles, actors, categories, movies, sports. You can do searches, and you can see what you have scheduled. So you can really see that this program does make the TV tuner in this product very useful. Another very neat part of this video card is the FM radio. And you can go ahead and record a station. You can pause the music. You can also scan through the channels. You can increase or decrease the volume. You can see this display will show live. It's playing now. Stereo. Also the channel that you are on. You've got a number of presets here at the top, so very neat to have a video card that has an FM stereo built into it. Well, as you can see, this card pretty much does it all. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go to the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.